This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, I'll go first this time. We're back. <laughs> Don't you love our table setting today? So anyway. Just not, we had to, there was a lovely floral arrangement that we had to move out of the way so you could see us, but yeah. um, it's all so pretty. Decked yeah. out for a party tonight at the Dillon House. I wasn't invited. Were you invited, Frank? No. no. <laughs> so anyway. I bet they lost it. Yeah. The Dillon House is a great place for you to have your party, so you might check it out. And you might invite us, too. Yeah. So, yeah. speaking of talented friends, like we've talked about already, Jeff Davidson and Ron Wilson are two more of our talented friends. And Ron Wilson, of course, you see every week on Around Kansas, along with us. A poet lariat. A poet lariat. <laughs> That's right. Not laureate. Lariat. And our very talented cameraman, Michael Gehring, actually interviewed them out in Abilene recently when they had their festival out there. Mm -hmm. And those guys with the Western Music Association do some awfully cool stuff. And we're so proud to be connected with them in any way. And Michael did a great job. And we're thrilled to have Michael with us. And, you know, he's more than just a pretty face, Frank. Yeah. Now, you mentioned Abilene and one time. You know, I was kind of a smart aleck and was doing Abilene, Abilene. I said, actually, it was about Abilene, Texas. Well, I stand corrected because a viewer did say, no, no, no. It was originally about Abilene, Kansas, but Abilene, Texas stole it. So there you go. I believe that viewer was Roger Ringer, who <laughs> is a past officer with the Western Music Association. Kudos, Roger. Shout yeah. out to you. Yeah. So anyway, thank you for the information. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look. We are here in historic Old Abilene Town, celebrating the 150th anniversary of the Chisholm Trail. Ron Wilson here with Jeff Davidson. The city of Abilene has hosted a special festival, Trails, Rails, and Tales. Jeff, there was an awful lot of stuff going on this oh, weekend. Oh, this, this was a big weekend. It was a lot of fun. It really was. The Kansas chapter of the Western Music Association, of which Jeff is president, provided music both Saturday and Sunday here at the festival. But there were cattle drives, there was a melodrama, there was all kinds of food and vendors and gunfights, as always, on the main street of Old Abilene. That's town. right. And then uh, Red Steagle was the, was the kind of grand finale last night, right before the fireworks. And, uh, and we also had the Native Americans, which I thought was, uh, was a nice touch. You know, they, they were, we came through, the Chisholm Trail came through their country, uh, which was Oklahoma, or became Oklahoma at the time. So. So we had both cowboys and Indians here in historic right. old Abilene town. One of the most interesting parts was the cattle drive. There were longhorn cattle, actual longhorn steers that were brought up from Woodward, Oklahoma, had a, a daily cattle drive around the park. And then the culmination was the loading of the cattle onto the steam engine and the train to go east. That's right. And uh, that was super and drew quite a crowd. It was, it was certainly fun to watch those longhorns get on there. And they had horns uh, long enough that you know, they had to kind of tilt their head a little bit to get through the door there on that cattle car. The history of Abilene is that Joseph McCoy, an Illinois cattle buyer, came down the railroad line through Kansas after the Civil War looking for a community to host a stockyards where they could bring all those wild longhorns up from Texas to the railroad so they could go east to the cattle markets there. There was a Joseph McCoy interpreter who made remarks uh, at the cattle loading and then they had actually built a wooden loading chute yes, that sir. resembled one of the original loading chutes for cattle. Yes, and I, I think it was actually quite accurate. I think it was a very good uh, uh, replica of what they actually used. And you might even mention that Joseph McCoy more or less designed the cattle car uh, himself. And so, and we were using one from the 1860s. It was actually that old. So that was uh, that was interesting. So. That's tremendous. Um, the Texas drovers, when they were moving those cattle north found that they could follow the ruts of the wagon trains that were left by freight wagons that were going down to the Indian tribes in Oklahoma. The man who was doing the trading was a half Indian trader by the name of Jesse Chisholm. And so the Chisholm Trail got its name. Why was the Western Music Association part of this event? Well, um, we, we talked to Abilene uh, when we knew they were going to do a, a show 
And actually, we were talking about doing one actually next year on the 150th year, but but this year, this is a, actually 149 years since uh, cattle started coming up the trail, which was 1867, by the way. And so, Abilene decided to kick it off with uh, with with a show this year, and then they're going to culminate it with a you know, even a bigger bigger event, bigger show next year. And so uh, we talked to them that you know, hey, we're the Western Music Association, the Kansas chapter. We would like to be a part of, of your celebration and what all you're doing. And so they said, sure, come ahead. And uh, it's been a great event. And, and I, from everything I'm hearing, uh, people really like what we did. So, so that's great. Uh, there is a group that's meeting to plan events all year long, culminating in the 150th anniversary. So be watching for uh, more information about that. If you'd like to find out more information about the Chisholm Trail celebration, go to chismtrail150.org. <laughs> well, we have to go. I'm Frank. I'm Deb. And we'll see you somewhere around, around Kansas. Kansas.